Hello everybody, welcome back to Somali Christian TV. My name is Naomi and I'm part of the Somali Christian TV team. I uh, just want to say thank you very much to all the Somali Christian TV team, family, people, everybody who's watched my video, uh, both videos. I just want to say thank you for all of the love and support that you guys have given me. It's really helps me uh, and spurs me on to continue further. So today's topic, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about fear because I just had a memory like sort of randomly pop into my head of um, just this occasion of when I was younger and I remember and I saw something and it made me really scared but it's to do with religion obviously and when I was a Muslim so we'll just go into that a little bit and talk about that and unpack that together. So when I was younger obviously I grew up Muslim um, I left Islam when I was in my teens so very early teens maybe 12 or 13 um, and before that obviously I was, I was Muslim and when I was Muslim I think I was very, very afraid, obviously, of Allah, of God, because of all of the punishments and all of the stuff about hell and things I'd heard from my grandmother, things I'd heard from other family members just terrified me. The thought of God terrified me, which is really sad to say. And when I was younger, I think I was just a really scared kid anyway. And it was just like there was loads of things that were just coming up that, that were meant to scare us into staying Muslim, into staying um you know, true to the religion and stuff like that. So this memory that I had the other day, um, it was actually of me um, coming in from playing outside in the playground, you know, all happy, just jolly, just strolling into the living room where my mum was and she's talking on the phone to some of her friends or something and I'm ready to go in and tell her something that had happened or whatever, just wanting to speak to her, I suppose, or see her or tell her that I came home. Anyway, <laughs> then there was a picture of like, just this mutated, obviously edited now, I know it's edited, but at the time it was a picture of a sort of a woman kind of crouching, but she looked like a monkey or like a dog or something and she'd been changed basically. The story was that she'd been changed from throwing the Quran on the floor or something like that. She took the Quran from her mum's hands and just threw it on the floor and then she became <laughs> this like horrific thing that hopefully should be on the screen now you can see the, the you know the scariness of it and for a kid of I guess like seven or something this was the worst thing I'd ever seen so I ran out of the room I just started bawling my eyes out and just crying in the in the hallway my mum had no idea she was just on her phone anyway after that we then went to visit another one of her friends and um, their kids her, her friend's kids came up to me and they were like oh no I look at this picture and like showing this picture to me and I just started crying again I was so terrified of that picture and then hearing the story it terrified me even more to not do something wrong or you know to not disobey God or to to you know not um guess throw the Quran on the floor <laughs> because I didn't want to turn into that that image of that woman who turned into some sort of monkey so that was that was then I guess and I was just really really afraid of like um like when I used to have nightmares and stuff my grandmother used to like read like Quranic verses over me and stuff and like say you know say that um asking like the demons to leave me and stuff and I was just so terrified of demons and of like all this stuff just thinking that I was like possessed and anyway that was terrifying then obviously now things have changed for me <laughs> I'm not Muslim anymore so I'm not afraid of God anymore um, and you know being a Christian now I just feel so blessed to have the love and the joy of Jesus Christ in my life obviously and I don't feel afraid of God anymore or afraid of praying or afraid of doing anything wrong because obviously we're under grace and Jesus already died for our sins. So the message now today I guess is just you don't need to live in a state of fear when there's so much goodness and so much happiness and so much joy at the other side of it. I think there's a verse that I wanted to read as well. Uh, Galatians 4 7 therefore you are no longer a slave but a son and if a son then an heir through God. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for listening and yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, obviously. Um, and yeah, hopefully speak to you guys soon again. Yeah, take care. Bye.